Welcome to myprojectbazaar.com The project title is Cloud Computing Based Forensic Analysis for Collaborative Network Security Management Systems Now going to explain the project In this project the main objective is to manage the network security based on the cloud computing Now going to explain the abstract Nowadays Internet security is the major problem. To resolve that, there are a lot of methods are proposed here there. In existing, they did not consider virtual machines flow, but in proposed it is considered. Now going to explain the data flow diagram. The process starts with users. Here we are considering n number of users. Those n number of users can register and then log in to the server. The details will be stored in the database of the server. The process considered here is uploading files. If the users log in and then uploaded the file to the server, the next uh, step is the server get the uploaded list of files of the login user. Then the server track the flow of the uploaded file. From the uploaded file, the server get the labeled files and then hash table will be updated based on the dynamic value and predefined value after all this process the server checks the files those are malware files or not if the user uploaded malware files means the user will be blocked otherwise the user won't be blocked if the user is blocked means they can't re-enter into the cloud environment now going to show the demo of the project here we are writing the home page which is the title page of our project by clicking this image we are going to start the project process first of all here have to start the server and have to run the login form and have to grant the permission and now the server is started successfully then the user have to register here The username and the password will be entered here and have to log in. Now the user has logged in successfully and have to monitor the server. After server monitoring, the user can get into the further process. Now have to browse the file. Here the main process is uploading the file process is the main thing. So here have to select the text file to upload into the browser so now by clicking the file upload button uh, the user who has logged in now will be uploading the file to the server now the file is successfully uploaded so in server side I have to get the file details and have to view the uploaded file details of the login to user now going to detect the malware of the login to user uh, now going to trace the suspicious status of the login to user now get the recently uploaded file and have to select it by selecting the file we can view the file content and going to apply the process After applying the process, the status will be shown in a pop-up message. Now successfully selected. In the next process, we are going to take the suspicious thing in the selected file. Successfully selected and successfully we recognize. Now view the suspicious files. Now next, I have to uh, find the behavior dependencies based on the suspicious files. Now have to select the file and get the dependencies and attach the label to that and after successfully attaching the labels get the label the list and uh, here we are considering three types of malware behaviors uh, by clicking these we can view those and by clicking this overall types of the malware behavior is shown here going to commit the malware 
by clicking this we are selecting and get the virtual machine source and commit for the malicious now the attacker will be detected and the login to user name is Tana is whose account is blocked now now have to remove the file from the server's database now this successfully removed and the login user will try to upload the malicious uh, file to the server account is blocked now and the uploaded file is uh, removed successfully and here extensible behavior like that uh, the user can update their uh, new details uh, into the user's database like by this uh, the user can detect the new one by updating this table by graph button we get the performance evaluation based on the request per second and the number of concurrent users with uh, using of vm flow